Hello everyone and welcome back to Pause to Read. My name is Ellen and I'm the Manager of Membership and Visitor Experience at the Museum of the Dog. And I'm very excited to read for you one of my favorite books in our collection today, Peyton Goes to the Dog Show by Lee Canalizzo. Uh, and if you've enjoyed reading along with us today and you'd like a copy of your very, very own, uh, you can find this at our online shop. Just check out the Museum of the Dog website. So let's get started, shall we? Peyton Goes to the Dog Show. With faces aglow, we go to the show. We pay at the gate, and oh, this looks great. The first thing we see is a big yellow tent. And under the tent, we find all the rings. There are handlers and judges and ribbons and things. But mostly, there are dogs. So many to see. Can you name all these breeds of dogs? Give it a minute. Okay. There are big dogs and small dogs, short dogs and tall dogs. There are some dogs that are fluffy and lots that look scruffy. Others are fast and very long legged. Here is the Ozawak. You never know where he's headed. Salukis and greyhounds are so very graceful. But others have whiskers, a big furry faceful. The long-legged dogs can run all the day. The short-legged dogs can't do that, no way. Some dogs have red fur. Many come in pure white. And then there are some that are a beautiful blue. Believe it or not, that really is true. The shepherds and briards work hard herding sheep. But some do two jobs, like helping police. Malamutes and Samoyeds pull through snow that is deep. The Siberian Huskies glide over that slush at the command of the driver who calls out to them, Mush! The Afghans are glamorous with coats silky and long, while the Commodore is peculiar with cords white and strong. Then there is the Rottweiler, so robust and true, as opposed to the Chihuahua. In one hand, you can hold two. So many terriers, both highish and lowish. There are Airedales and Irish. These are the tallish. While the Scotties in Norfolk, they are the smallish. The naughty Bedlington can easily get into a jam, but he doesn't get scolded because he looks like a lamb. The Spaniels are many, Engies, Cockers, and Springers. With tails merely wagging, they're friendly humdingers. The Retrievers and Pointers hunt in their own special way, they find and then bring home the game of the day. And say hello to the big fellows, like the Tibetan Mastiff. With a deep bark and a ruff for his collar, he'll guard the front gate and will know when to holler. Then there's the Neapolitan Mastiff, looking quite scary, so large, so wrinkled, and not a bit hairy. And so different, on the other hand, we have a great little worker bred in a northern land. He's a Swedish Valhund with a history so deep, he sailed with the Vikings, but now he hurts for his keep. 
and soon there will be other breeds joining the show. More dogs for me and more dogs for you. Doing the doggy things we ask them to do. But most of all, to be a friend so true. Thank you guys very much for listening, and we hope you'll join us again for Pause to Read.